in my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers now sense in my What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, I, I hate saying the word Dokkan. It doesn't feel good to me to say. I like saying Dokkan Battle. I know now I know that it's the wrong pronunciation, but even still. Anyway, uh, we're jumping back to finally test out a, <laughs> a character that I've been deprived, that I've been absolutely, you know, kept away from for a very long time. Let's actually take a look. For, oh my goodness, since February of 2019, so legit a year and a half, I've been kept away from this particular character um, when he first came out on the physical Broly banner, the movie boss, this Broly right here actually, uh, who, oh, I, I do have to show you guys, I put the sticker on that physical Broly, oh my goodness, he looks insane, let's take a quick detour and actually take a look at that, bro, you're really going to put him on the last rotation? C come on what he's seventh every time you do a showcase video it's just like they always got to put him in the last rotation uh but anyway let me just show you that sticker right there bro Woo! that looks insane absolutely tough and what's even cooler is if you got the transformation right here boom he ain't playing around but of course this is not the broly we're talking about we are talking about this agl raffle broly whose pecs are the biggest I've ever seen on a man, uh, to be quite honest. And he's got that huge afro uh, going on as well, which is very cool. But this dude, I put about 1,500 dragon stones into his original banner with the physical Broly, and I was able to rainbow this man on his original banner. Right? I've pulled five copies of him in 1,500 stones, and I pulled five copies of Intelligence Paragus in those same 1,500 stones. Never got this Broly. Uh, two <laughs> banner after that, banner after that, banner after that. Keep in mind, this guy is on the general population. Like he's he could be a GSSR pull, so you can just randomly get him on any banner, any banner, as long as it's not like a specific you know um, type banner, like a Peppy Gals banner. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to pull him. Uh, a hybrid Saiyans banner. Obviously, you're not going to be able to pull them. You know, stuff like that. But on a banner where just, you know, any legendary banner, any Doe Confessed banner, all of those banners that I went in on in the last year and a half, the fact that I still hadn't pulled them until just recently via, I believe, the tickets. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was actually on my collab with uh, General Bardock. That I pulled him and I was super high. He thought I pulled an LR legitimately. <laughs> he thought I pulled like Vegito or something. And I'm like, no, I pulled AGL Raffle Broly for the first time ever in the game, which is ludicrous that that's a thing. But I'm very, very happy that I got him because he's a very, very strong. Does he really not link up any better with him, huh? That's uh, a little unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll just take uh, those orbs right there and then put him some work. So what does this guy do? Uh, Unusual Evolution Broly is his name. He's the Raffle Broly. I already have him Extreme Z Awakened. He is only 55% right here, by the way. And I say only because obviously when you have him rainbowed, he's going to do so much more work. But the beauty of this guy is he's a stacking unit. He uh, raises his attack and defense by 30% for three turns when he supers, which is phenomenal. And he gives himself one key at the start of every turn, uh, which is pretty nuts. 70% attack and defense. Every time he attacks, he gains 20% attack. Or I'm sorry, he gains 20% defense. That caps at 80%, an extra 80. And every time he gets hit, which he just did, he gains 20% attack which stacks up to 80%. And again, uh, it's actually insane. And keep in mind, that is calculated separately, those boosts. So when that boy is like full-blown tip-top shape uh, and he's fully stacked up, he's actually going to be sitting at 206% defense and attack. He just has to be hit four times and he has to attack four times for that to happen. Uh, and it gets even better because he's stacking his attack and defense when he's super attacking for three turns like he can become 
insanely, insanely powerful. Now, the beautiful thing about him, too, is his links, uh, which he's going to benefit tremendously from the change in links because he was a character that had Saiyan Warrior Race. And obviously, Saiyan Warrior Race on global is, <coughs> excuse me, is still the 700 attack, but it will be changing to, I believe, the 10% attack, which is a much, much better statistic than just 700 attack. Um, he also has Saiyan Lineage, which is uh, key. Uh, Prodigies, which is uh, percentage-based attack. Berserker, which I'm still not a huge fan of, and I I wish they changed it like they changed it with Big Bad Bosses, but it's still going to be 20% attack when HP is 50% or below. Obviously, it's a little bit different on JP, but it's got the same 50% HP requirement, which I'm not a huge fan of, unfortunately. Um, Shocking Speed, great link, two key. Prepared for Battle, another key. This man's got three key links. Common, two. Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, Saiyan Lineage. A lot of Saiyans are going to have Saiyan Lineage, which is very good. And then Prodigies and Fierce Battle. A lot of people are going to have those links, particularly Vegeta characters with the Prodigies. And then Saiyan Warrior Race, like I said before, once uh, the once that new system comes into place for global, the link system, which I already explained in my video, um, that's most likely going to come in August. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up somewhere so you can go check that out. Um, we'll be getting those link updates in August. And so that Saiyan Warrior Race is going to transfer over to a percentage-based attack. It's just going to make him even stronger, which is insane. This is a big reason why I wanted this dude a year and a half ago. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I finally got him. I am. Because he's also, like, he just looks super dope. I like that weird Uazaru-type power that he has, which doesn't really make any sense. Because um, he doesn't have his tail anymore, so why would he even be able to channel that power? You know, it's completely nonsensical, but it's cool, you know, and that's kind of what Dragon Ball Super is in a nutshell. Completely nonsensical, but it, it's cool. It, it looks really sweet. Uh, transformations look powerful. Uh, hype moments. That's like Dragon Ball Super should have just been called Dragon Ball Hype because that's really what it is. Like Ultra Instinct, uh, you know, Master Ultra Instinct, Jiren Power, uh, Broly coming in, Super Gogeta Blue. Super Blue Vegito, you know, all these things are like into Evolution Vegeta, God Topo. All these moments are like insane hype. Uh, Rose Goku Black, um, all of it, insane hype. Story kind of sucks, but listen, it's not what we're here for. We're here for the fights, we're here for the battles, we're here for the power levels, the transformations, and all that stuff. Uh, so, ooh, that's not bad. And that is the, okay, well, we actually finished the event. That was <laughs> insanely fast. But as you can see, very, very excited that I finally pulled the AGL boy. Um, he works fantastic on a bunch of teams. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this is a Movie Boss team, but he's also on Pure Saiyans, which is probably going to be his best team. Movie Boss is really good for him too, though, especially with all the support. And then Exploding Rage, but damn. I'm super happy that we finally got this guy. And <laughs> I mean, I guess all the stones put into the game in order to get him were worth it. Uh, not really. I mean, I, I could have I could have been happy with him a year and a half ago, and that would have helped me quite a bit. But regardless, he's in the collection now. That's all that matters. Now the next step, Android 21 because we still don't have her. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below, when did you pull your copy of Raffle AGL Broly? Was it when he first came out, or was it months down the road? And are you like me and still missing Android 21? I do believe that she is still the only unit, like the side unit, that I don't have in the entire game, which is wild. Uh, like, I'm still missing some main Doconfess characters and some main LRs, but I'm talking about, like, you know, like a Thouser kind of unit or, like, a Dabura or, like, a Great Saiyan kind of unit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that side piece character that comes out <laughs> instead of the, oh, no, 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 I'm still missing Strength Weiss. But Strength Weiss is so new. Android 21 is legit, like, two years old at this point. But regardless, uh, let me know in the comments below, who are you missing that you think the majority of people have? Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already consider what you're doing with your life go ahead and gently rub that sub button gingerly ring that bell button lovingly kiss the like button as always this is periodic see y'all in the next video